Hello and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Where, um, fuck Preston's delights, basically. I was gonna deal with them, but honestly, I just can't be asked. I don't really know what I'm doing this time, okay? I got a lot of modules and stuff done here. Uh, a spicy salad if I wanted to make one. Which is cool if I needed to warm up on the go, but generally I never need to, because I've got this cold suit and that seems to do the job. You know, um, I'm trying to find out what I should be doing next. And I think... What I should be doing next is building an aquarium module for my sea truck. I think that's going to be important to have that glued onto the back. And I think also I'm going to need a prawn suit module for the sea truck as well. Because there's, like, I thought about building a prawn suit in the time between these episodes. And I thought, okay, if I build a prawn suit, that's good. But actually also if I build a prawn suit, what the bloody hell is the point of it? Because I'm not going to be able to walk everywhere. So I need to find that. Other than that, I need to find the architect's organs. And then find a way to build all them, which will be even more interesting. So I need to get the materials for all these things and work on that. So what I'm going to do right now is go down. We're going to go down because I don't know what's underneath Marguerite's um, greenhouse. Her greenhouse is a piece of shit, by the way. It's a fucking nightmare to get there. And honestly... I didn't learn anything I didn't already know, other than Marguerite helped blow up the lab. You know, I- I- Realistically, I'm gonna talk about the story for a little bit in this episode, which is... I think... Below Zero is an interesting story. I really do think it is an interesting story. Not in a bad way, but more in the sense of... I'm never a fan of a spoken protagonist. I think we're quite... An odd protagonist. Um... We're trying to find our sister. We obviously know what's happened to our sister right now. Uh, but we still don't. An active volcano detected nearby. Oh. An inactive volcano? Wait. Is this an inactive volcano? Um. That looks like Warning. a yes. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen Lots of diamonds decreased. and lithium and rubies, and I need all that, so let's just very quickly drag it all in. Bit here as well. Because collecting these resources is important. Okay, let's go down then, because if this is an inactive volcano, it won't be hot. But there's a strong chance that there might be kyanite crystals down here for me. And as we both know, I need Kyanite for a depth module for this baby. So this might be good. With this artifact, I am again able to trace the imprint of my people. What artifact? For a time. Oh, that but one. Then their presence becomes faint. I was trying to figure out what you're on about. So it's not fully inactive. It looks like it's been almost nullified. Ion cubes? I presume this was a power structure of some sort. A ground sampler? Oh, okay, maybe not. New technology acquired. Ion battery. Yeah! Maybe an ion power cell if I'm lucky. Yes! Okay, that means we're going to have shit that's going to last forever, which is great. There is nothing down there worth me looking at. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Anything here worth grabbing? Alright, well, that was, um... Surprisingly little found here. I thought this might be something cool, but it's just a random artifact. Okay. Each to their own. I found some diamonds and some lithium, which is pretty solid. So let's um try and just make sure I can get a bit more of that. Right. Home is that way. Let's just follow the seafloor and see where we go. Because under Delta Station, there's Q59. What was that? That is, um... Um, scary, scary, no, no, yep, that was something I've clearly never seen before, so I'm just going to keep moving, keep moving, yeah, um, um manly voice, Harry, manly voice, uh, yeah, um, yeah, so that wasn't scary at all. Uh, I don't have goosebumps going up my spine. 
Hold on, is this in the copper mining facility? It is, actually. Alright. This might be harder to find than I thought. I think it's in the copper mining facility. Alright, well, let's just go for it. No, it's not. Before I change my mind, obviously, if I die, I'm going to respawn in the truck. Um, so... Let's level the truck out. There we go. Ditch some of my stuff in here, not the gear one. This one... Oh. Here. Keep one iron cube. I think that's all I'll ever need if I find a teleporter down here. Let's go. So yeah, like we know what's happened. Um, from looking and just looking at Delta Station. Uh, not Delta Station. Looking at the Leviathan. We were able to tell that we could inject something into the Leviathan. So clearly we need to cure the Leviathan Warning. to finish the game. That's fair Oxygen and understood. I get that, yeah? Increased. However, that's still not productive. We're not doing anything with that, though. So, maybe we need to destroy any leftover bacterium, but I'm not seeing any leftover bacterium that could be a problem. This is all done. Let's continue going deeper. I'm just going all or nothing right now, so we'll see how it goes. Mining site deliveries. Oh, hey, Parvin. There we go. Can I get you to sign off here? What is all this? I don't know. Some kind of measuring equipment? Artifact down Bill here. Bill said she'd send someone over to set it up later. Ah, alien science nonsense. I wouldn't say that. This site is one of some significance. Its data will assist us on our quest. It seems very odd. I grabbed a creature egg of something I don't know. Warning. Ah, 30 oxygen. seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. Let's keep going deeper, because I got nothing to lose right now, other than an egg. Um... Because I don't have a prawn suit, and I don't have a way to transport a prawn suit, Warning. so I'm hoping I'll find a sea truck module for a prawn suit, or there's a data box there. I'm going to grab that data box first. Massive oxygen. underground thing here. Okay, quick grab this, grab this, grab this, grab this. Okay, I've got Morning. a bit more oxygen here. Seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh, tons of, tons of stuff to mine. Okay, I think we're done. Even if I die now, oxygen. I gain stuff. Woo! It's okay, I can die. We've explored this place now. Let, let it take me. Let it take me. A purposeful death! Oh! I got the artifact I need, which looked like some sort of shrine. I lost some belongings. I think the most I would have lost was an iron cube and an egg. So, yeah, it should be fine. Let me have a look at my belongings. I lost an egg. Yeah, I just lost an egg. That's fine. Prawn suit jump jet upgrade. Pretty pretty solid, that is. Um, so that can go in there. And that can go in there. Um, right, let's look at some of these logs. Because I unlocked some blueprints very quickly. A headlamp. Oh. That's quite cool. I think that would replace my helmet slash rebreather. But that is pretty cool. Um, ion cells, yep. Yeah. I think I just learned how to make a headlamp. Little upsetting. Uh, right, and then I've got mining site delivery. Oh, hey, Parvin. Can I get you to sign off here? What is all this? I don't know. Some kind of measuring equipment? Lil said she'd send someone over to set it up later. Ah, alien science nonsense. I wouldn't say that. You should ask her to show you some of her findings. It's pretty interesting stuff. There might really be someone down there. You ask me. Scientists have too much control over here. What? I'm serious. Look around you. This mining facility extracts every mineral your scientists use to make their equipment. Their bases, their scanners, even your little sea trucks. I wouldn't call them little. Do you know the name of a single person who works down here? Well, I know you, Parvin. Ah, tell Lillian she's wasting her time. There's nothing down here but workers, and we already know we don't spark her curiosity. Okay, so Parvin seemed to hate how the little people were dealt with. Understandable. Something about... Here we go, news. 
Was unexplained iron signature linked to the aura's disappearance? Yes, obviously. Not as much found here as I'd have liked, but hey, I found something. Maybe the other tunnels will lead somewhere, but for now, we just don't know. I don't know where I'm going to find a prawn suit module for a sea truck. That's a bit of a problem. Who is this? Ah, this is a volcano that I've trapped myself in again. God fucking damn it. Stop exploring tiny holes in a big truck. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I think I'm gaining some speed. Did I do it? Hey, I'm free. Okay. I need to stop putting my sea truck down there. That's just not helping. Let's go back home. Scan for some data boxes. That's going to be important. Or maybe fragments. I don't know. We've got a lot of stuff that I need to look at maybe building. Maybe building a prawn suit will enable me to build the storage thing that allows me to carry around a prawn suit. Maybe that's what I need. That's just a uh, sea truck part. I can't see. But I turn that on, I lose all visibility. It's good for seeing things like close range, like this rock. But it's shit for seeing, like, shit in the distance. Interesting. I guess we're just going to wait until Alan gives me something else to look at because I'm out of leads. I have been to the biological lab. I have been to the physical lab. I've been to... I've been everywhere. So, I feel like there should be a lava cave biome or something that I'm trying to get into. But, I don't know where I'm supposed to explore next. I really don't. Hmm. Let's work on home then. Something we can work on. We can get all of our materials ready to build the organs and the body. We can work on everything else and hopefully we'll get a... Oh, I've detected a signal of a site or something. Eventually. You're set to entire range, aren't you? Range, 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 range. Yeah. Uh, speed, no one needs. Okay, range is done. So, why don't we have you look for... A fragment. You only have like a 500 meter range, which is really upsetting. I was hoping you'd have more of one. Let's see what they turn up with fragments, because there'll be tons of little fragments. But hopefully, it'll only show fragments that I've not that, that I need. You know, that's what I'm hoping. It'll show fragments that I need. Um, let's make two power cells, ion power cells. Do I actually want two ion power cells? I don't need them. This is the thing. So, iron power cells, they are massive charge, yeah? I get it. I really do. But actually, am I going to be far away from home enough that it's going to mean anything? No, not really. So, what else do we do? Maybe it's time to build a prawn suit. Maybe it is. Right, let's pin these because they're the architect's skeletons and stuff. And a prawn suit. In that as well. Okay. So the architect's body needs... Something to store it in. Ooh, plant shells. Nuclear waste disposal. Danielle's bed. Ah, oh, she's got a really nice bed, actually. What's Sam's bed? Sam's bed's just ocean. Ugh. There are lots of cool beds here. I quite like Parvin's bed, though. I'm not gonna lie. Um, right. Uh, but you do doop doop skibbity doop doop doop. A jukebox speaker. A jukebox. You know. Fuck it. Let's try a jukebox. If this is copyrighted music, it's gonna be upsetting. But let's put a jukebox down. Quartz and titanium. I picked up more quartz than titanium. I'm an idiot. The jukebox lets you listen to music in your base. No one said survival couldn't be funky. Um. 
What is the purpose of this device? It plays music so that I have something to listen to. What is music? I can detect certain patterns within it. Is it mathematical? An instrument of science? Does it help with your research? Okay. It does. Just not in the way you're probably thinking. Music and math are strongly related. Rhythm is math. Harmonies can be math. But music as a whole is more than that. We experience it on an emotional level. I sense it has an impact on your pulse and breathing. It makes you move differently. Humans are controlled by music. We make music and we're moved by it. Not everything is about control, Alan. Whole thing going on over there with the music. Um, I have no idea if I'm going to get taken down on YouTube for this. Uh, yeah, something better, please. What's this? No. 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 Okay, well, I made music and I regret it heavily. Uh, <laughs> um, right. Let's let's see about um, building this body for the architect. So I need two root pustules, synthetic fibers, and two gel sacs. I have one gel sack here, one gel sack here, two root push stools, and synthetic fibers. How do I make them? Uh, it's an advanced material, right? Ruby and spiral plant clipping. What the fuck is a spiral plant? There we go. And I'm going to name it Alan. Right. There we go. Uh, you need a plastiling gut, polyaniline, and three diamonds. So, do I have polyaniline on me? I got this. Hold on. How do I make polyaniline again? Gold. There we go. Make some polyaniline. Calorie intake recommended. Ah, we'll be fine. I got time. Uh, two lithium. One, two, three of that. Uh, diamonds. There's somewhere. Three here. Uh, lots of fragments have appeared now. Are any of them in specific areas? That's what I need to look at. So my plan is to look at the map and see where these, um... Right, so these are... None of them are in areas where I haven't been. I was hoping for ones down here. Or up here. This seems very well known to me. That's where I am. Over here, I've done. Right, okay, so there's nothing to be found, basically. Good to know. Spiral plant? No. Oh, okay. Alright, so I need a spiral plant clipping, so next time I'm by a vent garden, I need to grab some of that. That's understandable. Uh, Recyclotron. Nope. Should I make a prawn suit? I think I should. I think it's time to make a prawn suit. Somehow I pinned titanium. That can stay. Let's unpin these, because I'm done now. Prawn suit. What do I need for a prawn suit? A plastic got a power cell, enamel glass, and a computer chip. Right. Do I have any table coral on me? I do not. Right, let's go get some table coral and some other stuff while I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. Hmm. Right. So, I know there's a bunch I can get here. I'm quite curious. Where will I have not explored properly? Because there's a lot of areas I've tried to explore thoroughly. And I'm trying to think, where will I have not explored thoroughly? <sighs> hmm. I've got one unconscious dog in my room, though. Right, let's go down here. Um... See what I can find down here. Right. Um. 
bit here. I should overdo it, because I seem to underdo it with the amount of table coral I actually need, so get as much as I can. Right, that's got to help with table coral. Um, lead. I think I'm running low on lead, so I'll grab a bit of lead here. Right. I've gone down to the depths of here. There's nothing to gain here. Okay, I know that. Absolutely nothing to gain. Ten table coals probably enough to keep me going. I should be able to make the rest of this pretty easily. That's a very tiny base, which is upsetting. Um, let's let's head back home, build the prawn suit. Hopefully that will give me a module or something. Or maybe I can glue it onto the back of this. There's got to be a way to transport it. Because the Cyclops had that little launching bay, that moon pool, which is very useful. There's got to be something like that to make the prawn suit maneuverable underwater. We can't just walk everywhere in a prawn suit. That's fucking ridiculous. Then again, Marguerite does it, so maybe that's what they expect us to do. No, there has to be... there has to be a thing. Alright, um... Outpost Zero I've done. Nothing to be gained at Outpost Zero. I'm going through the places in my brain trying to think, where have I not been? And I genuinely don't know where to go next. Like, I go to my map very quickly. I've been here. Been up here, explored here. Couldn't go further up there because I don't have a prawn suit. Been over here. Fully explored up here. There's a dead thing there. Explored all that. Take the way back this way. Been this way. Done that. Been here. Explored most of this. Pretty much all of it, actually. Nothing to be found there. Been there, explored to the bottom. Been here, turned it off. Been here, explored, it's all destroyed. There's got to be something I'm missing. I'm exasperated, shall we say. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right. So to make this... Gold and copper wire. Okay. Well, where's my gold? Which is understandable. Right, let's build, let's build Prawny. Although, I could build a aquarium module. Uh, I'm going to build a prawn suit. Plop. What I got right now? Um, done that, done that. Why not? An aquarium module might as well. If I've got the materials for it, I'll make it. My prawn suit is chilling down here. Welcome aboard, Captain. We have the Cyclops is um. Thing. Come on. There we go. That's an improvement. There is a penguin trying to uh, gain some entry to my uh, area. You're not getting your child back. They're staying with me. Uh, I can make a drill arm. Very cool. Can't make a grappling arm yet, so that's still not good enough for me. Depth modules, a whole thing. Uh, jump jets, I've got one of them. It's the gnome suit, we know that. And the base colour is green, the stripe is pink, the interior is pink, and the name is... Done. There you go. The gnome suit. It's hideous. I love it. Alrighty. Very quickly, I need to now build an aquarium module. Because there's got to be a point to the aquarium module. Maybe there's a reason behind it. Something I don't know. Where the fuck is my titanium? Hooray! I can now make an aquarium module. Which is, um... A choice. 
we'll find out if it's going to be a good idea in a minute. Very clear right now. Yeah, not much to be found around here, which is a bit upsetting. And there is a levitating child there. Anyway, make me aquarium module. Maybe it's worth it. It's very, um... Maybe I can put a prawn suit in it? Doesn't look like it. But I can still be hopeful. It appears to be a way to just store live fish. Right. Well... For the sake of gluing it on the back, let's do that anyway and make this thing even longer. Get the colour scheme on it. That's the most important thing. Oh my god, it's hideous. <laughs> yeah, now I can store um fish in the walls. I wonder if I can put a penguin in here. Let me go and get my penguin. Very important. Can you go? Ah! I can fill it with penguins! How many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, so I need seven. I need 16 penguins. Hold on. Really sorry, everyone. One, two, three. Hey, I'm busy! I need the children! It's okay! It's okay! It's fine! Trust me! It's just for um, scientific purposes! The weak get excluded from the clan, I can see it, yes! Climb! Go! Quick! Before they notice! Ha <laughs> ha! Am I a bit insane for doing this? Possibly. But also, I want a really cute penguin storage container. <laughs> yeah, that's worth it. <laughs> Just stolen, like, fucking 14 bloody babies. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. It's fine. They're like good luck charms. Welcome aboard, Captain. I feel kind of bad. I don't know if I should feel bad. Those other people can tell me if I should feel bad. Let's turn off this quartz thing, it's annoying. Right, okay, so... Might have been a slightly less successful video, shall we say. I ended up robbing children. Um, but... But... Um, yes. Yeah, I was looking at the base pieces to see if there's anything I actually need. There's not. Um, right. Okay, let's explore north. And steal some more penguins on the go. Disconnect modules. Oh, good. Right, north is this way. North is... That's Omega Base. Right, so that's where my home is. So let's go... West. And just follow the seabed west and see what we can find. Maybe there's some biomes or areas I haven't figured out. Last known location, architect. Emergency supply clash, there wasn't anything there. Fly robotics landing, done. Battle station. I've done that one. I've done all these artifacts. I need more artifacts. Yoo-hoo! Come on, Alan. For me, I need more artifacts. Does this thing get slower the more modules I attach? I genuinely don't know. Sorry, I heard the noise like I was dropping something or picking something up. Weird. Wait, hold on. Are you gaming fish that I'm running over? Is that what- THAT'S WHAT'S HAPPENING! You catch fish! Oh! And I filled you full of baby penguins! Whoops! 
Oh well, 11 baby penguins are fine. Do, do, do. I didn't realise that we caught fish that I ran over. So further west. Let's just keep going west until the game says you can't go west anymore. And go along the bottom and try and find a new biome. That's my plan. Primary plan one, find a new biome. Primary plan two is look for one of those uh, vent thingies. The giant vent jellyfish things. Hold on, speaking of which, I need my rebreather. Not a cold hat. That'll help me out down here. I also can't get hit once because I'm a very low on health. Because, um, I think the penguins got annoyed I was stealing their children or something. Still don't know why, but yeah, they're a bit annoyed. We are slowly going down, which is good. Because I know the edge of the map is somewhat over here as well, which is a bit odd. Hmm. Maybe I should go off the edge of the map? I mean, I've seen no reason to not do that right now. There's not even been a leviathan, so maybe what I thought is the edge of the map isn't actually the edge of the map? Hmm. Possibly. Right, let's go... I was going to say, let's go up to the surface and have a look around, but let's not. Let's go down. There is a real big cavern-y, depth -y thing here. Let's get in that. Let's trench roll the best way we can. And that's got to help... With something! I think this is a much smaller map than uh, the original Subnautica. Uh, this is what I presumed was the edge of the map. Is it? Let's go down just as far as we can and see what happens. I'm not seeing any resources. It looks like one of those edge of the map cliffs. Warning. Entering ecological dead zone. Yeah. The prospect for survival is fast approaching zero. No. Right, so that's what we've established is bad for us. That leviathan there. Okay, so this is the end. Let's go east then. I get the feeling Tyron's going to be like, why is this an episode? But I don't know what to do. Genuinely, I don't. I think I've done everything. <laughs> Am I done? Is there an end to the game? I feel like there has to be, you know? Well, I need to build that body, obviously, but I don't know where I'm going to find the organs. Hmm. Hendrix hasn't a clue either. What's down here, then? This is deep. Volcanic area. Okay, this is probably where the vent garden is, if I remember correctly. So what's down at the bottom of here? Maybe there'll be something down here. Sharks, yeah. Craggy, rocky terrain, okay. Um, vent garden. We can definitely plug ourselves into that vent garden very quickly. Kinda hoping I'd find something here. I think there's gotta be something here. By pure probability's sake, this is a biome that needs to be explored. And... That looks like it needs someone to go down it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna park here very quickly. I need to get spiral plank clippings for the vent garden. So let's go up into the vent garden very quick. Because my oxygen should be... Not going too fast because I got the rebreather on now. That's good. Spiral plants. So you. One, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I'm going to get as much as I can. Seven. Eight. 
get 10. 10 is probably a good amount. I want to leave some because I don't know if it needs to regrow. They need to keep things in, so it's worth a look. This is very cool. I'm not going to lie, it is very cool. This whole vent garden idea, I like it. it reminds me of um, Outer Wilds. It was a game that I did a Let's Play on very early in this channel. You won't be able to find that Let's Play because I privated it because the quality is absolutely awful. Because uh, Tyron wasn't around then. Uh, so I blame him. Um, that is something new. Oh my god. Looks so stupid sticking out the ground. <laughs> Here we go. Our searches have been useful, but ultimately I have no definitive evidence as to the fate of my people. The network I hoped to rejoin may no longer exist. I cannot feel it. There could be a million reasons for that. Like, what if the network had a system update? They're on version 2001.4 and you're still on version 14.2. That would make me incompatible. How would I even begin to plan my upgrades? Okay, that's not what I meant. Bad example. You still know how to get home? Yes. So don't give up. Go there, see for yourself what happened. You are expressing optimism, but it is not supported by probability. Hope isn't based on statistics. It's born from a drive for something better. There's a poem Sam loved. Hope is human. Hope is... Uh... Oh, oh, right. Hope is the the thing with feathers. This does not match any fauna designation I can find in your PDA. It's a line from a 19th century Earth author. Emily something. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops is that Emily Dickinson? at all. I promise we'll get answers one way or another, Ellen. Adding hope. To your database. Not helpful. Not even slightly there, Alan. Not even slightly. So we need to find a big crystal cave. That's looking like what the next thing I'm looking for is. Big cave surrounded by crystals. So the way to find that is probably to go down. Deep crystal caves. We have hope though because we have figured out something new. Because I'm not going to lie. I hit a point where I was very confused. Researched hope. Yeah, I don't think that's actually research. That's just a... Uh... Okay, whatever. Try and teach a fucking robot about hope. Right, let's keep going east. Uh, see what else I can find. If there's anything else. If not, then I will go back to home base and see what I can do if, with what I found. Oh, below Marguerite's base. Yes. That's somewhere that I wasn't able to go deeper. But that was last time, so maybe this time I'll find something. Hello! We figured something out. Some place I haven't been before, but I could go. Below Marguerite's base. What a good idea. Hey! There's a base. wonder if I can get in her base right now. Well, let's, let's pull up alongside it. And then try and go deeper around the base, because there's this whole area around it. Which makes me think, maybe there is a way deeper. Oh shit. So bad at driving. Get out here. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, Marguerite, can you do me a favour and clean? This place is filthy. No? Hi. You again. Hmm. Um. He's chewing on some precursor technology. There's a room over here that's no longer blocked. Yay! Food. Table, fridge, bunch of stuff, alcohol, a shower! I feel like this is something I probably should have turned on early. Wait, is it is it like a Star Trek shower? Hold on, if it's like a Star Trek shower, I'm going to be very happy. 
Water streams. Ah. Toilet! Does make me wonder what I've been doing all this time. Sink. Yeah, a lot of hygiene things. Alcohol. Wheels? Beacons. Is this your bedroom? Do you have a bed? I can't scan your bed. A fortnight into our voyage. I was more or less living inside the creature's ribcage. It meant shelter. No. And it meant food. The flesh was starting to rot. The stench was unlike anything I'd ever smelled. As we floated, the temperature dropped, and the rotten meat began to stiffen and freeze. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, the Reaper began to lose buoyancy. We sank a little each day. My sanctuary oh, shit. was becoming my tomb. And I was at the mercy of the current and the winds. Until one day, I saw a smattering of penguins in the distance. Swimming birds usually mean solid land of some kind. I was lucky. The winds followed their path. Hours later, I saw a blessed sight. An unmoving cloud sitting upon the water. Land. It renewed my spirit as I watched the land get closer and closer. The Reaper slowly sank, but I was no longer worried. When the Reaper finally sank below the water, I was close enough to lazily swim my way to shore. I made a note to come back for the Reaper skull. I didn't ride the beast for three weeks to have no proof. <laughs> land never felt so good. Even in this... Arctic hell. Yeah, Marguerite, you need to do me a favor if you can, and that is uh, clean up after yourself. This place is fucking broken. Can I have this? No. Okay, right. Well, um... I think I'm done. There's nothing new here, at least. Let's go a little bit around this area, and then if I find a new biome, I'll be happy. And if I don't, then I'll end the episode anyway, because I'm just going to try my best to find something. And that is something new. That is a data box below Marguerite's house. Okay, we're going to continue exploring down there next time. I found a cave. Finally. And a data box. Let's leave the data box and I guess it'll be like penglings, so it's not gonna be anything new, but we'll see. Water filtration suit! Okay, fuck that. No, it is something new. Spy pengling. Radio beacon, I don't care about. Um Yes, I finally found something to do! Hooray! So next time. Um, shit, I need to, oh, let me put this flat, because if I load in and it's not flat, there's a good chance I'll fall out of it. Um, you know, all in all, we're doing all right. Some of my stuff in storage. Cool. My pengling army's here, along with a bunch of other random fish that I uh, stole. I mean borrowed, I mean stole, I mean borrowed, I mean stole. But, we actually found something new. I've got a new area to explore. I'm very happy with myself. Apologies, I keep bashing my elbow off my mic stand. It's really annoying me. But, yeah. So, thank you very much for watching. Much love from me. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.